Basketball in Lithuania is not just a game. Basketball is Lithuania's pride. Basketball is the heart of Lithuania. It started beating in Kaunas. Basketball has been played in Lithuania since 1921. And just a year later, on April 23rd, the first official friendly game was held in Kaunas at the basketball court on Vitotas Hill. That day is considered the beginning of basketball in Lithuania. In 1936, Lithuania was admitted to the International Basketball Federation FIBA. In 1937, the history of Lithuania's basketball victories began. At the second European Men's Basketball Championship in Riga, the founders of the Lithuanian basketball team, headed by Mr. Pranas Lubinas, surprised Europe. There, the European teams, one after another, were forced to acknowledge that Lithuania, an outsider before, was now a leader. Lithuania had reached a peak of European basketball, but the country had just one basketball hall and basketball players were counted not in thousands, but in tens. In 1939, Lithuania was so eager to host the third European men's basketball championship in their capital, Kaunas, that they built Europe's first roofed basketball hall. At the opening, the president of Lithuania, Mr. Antanas Smetona, said, I am pleased to greet this game organizers, hosts and visitors, and I am particularly happy to say welcome to our dear foreign guests. Since that time, basketball has been in the heart of nearly every Lithuanian. Even World War II and the 50 years of Soviet occupation have not cooled Lithuanians' passion for the sport. While living under another country's flag, Lithuanians regarded their basketball teams as symbols of their national identity. Lithuanian basketball players were leaders of the Soviet Union teams that won the European Championships and Olympic Games. Their victories inspired Lithuanians to regain their freedom and their country's teams rejoined the international basketball family in 1991. Lithuania's heart starts beating again and in a triumphant rhythm. In 1992, Barcelona. In 1996, Atlanta. In 2000, Sydney. Three Olympic Games, three times bronze medal winners. Little Lithuania is the only country in Europe whose team has played in the Olympic semifinals five times in a row. In 1995, the men's team became European vice champions. In 2007, they won the bronze in the European Championship. But the most unforgettable victory of the last decade was the Lithuanian team triumph in the European Championship in Sweden in 2003. After 64 years, our basketball players again became the champions of Europe. Hundreds of thousands of fans came to meet the champions. Proof that basketball is the heart of Lithuania. Vilnius, Kaunas, Klaipeda, Šiaulė, Penevižys and Malitus are the European cities which are preparing to welcome the participants of Eurobasket 2011. The Lithuanian government, together with the Lithuanian Basketball Federation, has already invested almost 200 million euros to improve basketball arenas and other infrastructure. When the brightest stars of Europe will arrive to Lithuania, the oldest arena of the tournament will be only six years old. And being a relatively small country can be as an advantage sometimes. The longest distance between two arenas of Eurobasket 2011 is 300 kilometers. That means that the longest travel for any team will not last longer than three hours by bus. Shaule, a city with a population of 130,000 in northern Lithuania, with its bicycle factory, bike paths and bike museum, is known as the city of cyclists. But basketball is also very popular. The new arena, with space for up to 6,000 fans, was opened in 2006. The arena is impressive both in size, some 100 meters wide, and in appearance. Four of its five floors are covered in sparkling holographic glass. Panevežys, the fifth largest city, is located in the north of Lithuania, on both sides of the Nevežys River. The new center of interest for the people of Panevežys is the sports arena. The arena, which opened in 2008, is already known for its Olympic standard cycling track, 
but its main task is to welcome the participants of Eurobasket 2011. More than 5,000 fans will be able to watch the qualifying rounds in Panevision. Alitus, the biggest city in southern Lithuania, is famous for its picturesque forest and green hills. In February, the specially refurbished arena for Eurobasket 2011 was opened. The Alitus Arena can host 5,000 fans. The first test of the Alitus Arena was the final four of the Lithuanian Basketball Federation Cup. Klaipeda is Lithuania's major port and most northern ice-free harbor in the Baltic Sea. This city of nearly 200,000 citizens has a unique atmosphere, a combination of city life and the sea, and will have a unique arena designed to look like a catamaran. Lipada's arena, with almost 6,000 seats, is underway. Vilnius is the capital of Lithuania and the biggest city is situated at the junction of two rivers, the Vilnala and Nedus. This city of half a million has an old town so well preserved that it's included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The people of Vilnius are proud of their basketball team Lietuvos Ritas. The largest city arena is new and modern, opened in 2004 and can fit 11,000 basketball fans. This is the first arena in Lithuania to meet all of FIBA's Europe requirements and FIBA management after visiting the arena declared it perfect for Eurobasket 2011. Basketball players who have competed here admire the arena, excellent service and the congenial atmosphere. Kaunas is Lithuania's second largest city, the country's temporary capital between the world wars. It's now the capital of basketball, with its famous team, Zhalgiris, one of the best in Europe. Kona's legendary sports hall has been hosting major basketball games since the 1939 championship. But a new hall is already under construction. The largest in Lithuania, Kona's arena will be ready to host the finals of Eurobasket 2011, with a capacity of near 15,000 seats. On the 30th of January, the Lithuania attracted the attention of all basketball aid. fans from all over Europe when the draw ceremony took place in Vilnius, because of what and I the national teams before, of 25 countries, countries were divided into in four groups. Group. The host country, Lithuania, fell into the Group A and will play in Panevežys. <laughs> the Italian basketball legend Dino Meneghin Lithuania, picked the Group A, a, where Lithuania will have to face Spain, Turkey, Poland, Great Britain and the qualifier number two. In the group B, the national teams of Italy, Serbia, Germany, France, Latvia and Israel will meet in Shaule. Alutus will host the group C. In this city, the fans will watch the games between Bosnia and Herzegovina, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Croatia, Montenegro, Greece, and the qualifier number one. The Group D, Russia, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Georgia, Ukraine, and Belgium will meet in the city of Klaipeda. The logo of Eurobasket 2011 was unveiled in January 2009 during the intermission in the final game of the Lithuanian Basketball Federation Cup in Panevežys. The logo's creator, Mr. Kestutas Poira, said that its design is being created in perspective so that the basketball backboard is seen in the same way that an attacking player would see it. On April 2010, tens of thousands of Lithuanian fans participated in the national-wide elections of the mascot of Eurobasket 2011. Most of the votes went to Ambers, a character which was named after the English word Amber and the Lithuanian ending IS. Amber is the most famous precious stone of Lithuania, which has a unique history and deep-rooted traditions and it represents the importance of basketball to Lithuanian people. Eurobasket 2011 has involved many members of the Lithuanian show business. In January, the contest of the basketball anthem was announced.
More than 20 famous Lithuanian artists and musicians participated in the contest. The commission and the basketball fans have voted the song of Marionas Mikutavichus, Mantas and Mia to be the best of all. Before hosting the biggest basketball event in Europe, the organizers were given two good opportunities to test themselves and some of the facilities too. First, it was Kolnitz, the city that hosted the Omnitel Under-16 European Men Championship in 2009. The next year, Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, hosted the Omnitel Under-18 European Men Championship. Almost 13,000 fans from the arena stands were singing the national anthem together with the team. It was a new all-time attendance record for any European youth competition. And maybe a glimpse what everybody can expect this year. The ticket sales of Eurobasket 2011 have started in March. The demand for tickets and the fans' desire to see the greatest European basketball event has exceeded all expectations. During the first week of sales, the Lithuanian and foreign basketball fans bought 80,000 tickets out of the available 110,000. The official ambassador of Eurobasket 2011, Arvide Sabonis, started his journey around Europe in February with a visit to Slovenia, London, Berlin, Moscow, Madrid. More cities followed with the crowds of journalists and basketball fans trying to catch a glimpse and the word of the biggest Lithuanian basketball legend. The message Sabonis was passing to people all around the old continent was brief and simple. Come to Lithuania and see for yourself what basketball means to us. Celebrate and enjoy the feast of basketball. Those words were said by Sabonis, but echoed by all the people of Lithuania. Three million Lithuanians look forward to the greatest basketball competition in Europe and are getting ready to welcome guests from all over the old continent. We are ready to prove that Lithuania is the heart of European basketball. I am convinced that the European Basketball Championship is a matter of pride for all Lithuanian people. Basketball fans, Lithuania welcomes you.